welcome back friends so today in this video i will discuss about the most important questions of the mechanics of materials it is also called as mom subject it is subject code is 18 me 32 as already exams on probably the second second of august so if i am not wrong over here so my dear friends i will discuss about some important questions which will be there in the examination this time so you have to focus on this much content this much portion so that you will easily kill this you will easily conquer this subject you will easily clear this subject over there so in the model first friends uh, there are some definitions like Poisson's ratio bulk modulus rigidity modulus like that definitions are there you have to go through and cover that much theory part so that um, you will uh, at least gain 10 marks or 6 marks in this particular sub uh, particular module over here and also expression for total elongation of a tapered circular bar it is the derivation over there one is that for the tapered circular bar and another one is the rectangular bar most probable question is this uh, they may ask sometimes most of the times they have asked this a uh, tapered circular bar uh, what we call the derivation over there then expression for Young's modulus it is in the second part or part it is there for the Young's modulus um, E in terms of bulk modulus K and Poisson's ratio mu so uh, and another derivation is expression of Young's modulus in terms of rigidity modulus and Poisson's ratio so these are the two derivations which will be definite over there in the second part of this first module so go through these uh, what whichever is convenient for you people my dear friends so go through these de uh, two derivations this will be definite question over there and also state Hooke's law and also a uh, stress strain diagram for mild steel will be there high chances are there and also if you uh, go through the problems of this uh, particular type that is Young's modulus in terms of bulk models and Poisson's ratio that are also uh, that are also simply uh, sim uh, what we call as simple over there so in the uh, model second uh, derive an expression for cir uh, circumferential that is also called as hoop stress and longitudinal stress for a thin cylinder subjected to internal pressure this is also a definite question over there my dear friends so focus on this particular derivation in the module second and also derive Lamy's equations for thick cylinder these are two deri derivations are there one for the uh, thin cylinder another for the thick cylinder and also uh, state assumptions made while considering thick cylinders okay so you have to write down the uh, also assumptions were there and also its problems are also based on this particular two derivations if you are convenient if you are uh, having a what we call a strong basics in this particular module so we go through these uh, particular problems were there so another then module 3 there are definitions on beams and loads what are the difference between beam and loads were there and also there are the expression for what we call the relationship between the intensity of load shear force and bending moment so you have to derive that particular expression uh, particular relation over there and also derive bending equation with usual notation it is also a what we call the important question in this particular module definite question over there go through this and also with the assumptions you have to write over there so then after in the module fourth uh, it uh, it contains uh, what we call as the derivations were there uh, four or five derivations so go through first uh, the uh, assumptions in pure torsion and also derive the torsional equation then after prove that hollow shaft is stronger and stiff, stiffer than the solid shaft for the same material over there so this is the important derivation for hollow shaft and also you have to prove the weight of hollow shaft is less than solid shaft so these are the four derivations over there so you have to go through and also in the R part there will be maximum prin uh, principle uh, stress theory that is a uh, Rankine's theory and also maximum shear stress theory is there that is also called as Tuska's theory okay uh, out of these theory uh, out of these uh, questions uh, it is your choice uh, whichever you choose over there I will prefer you go through the hollow shaft derivation and also it will be easier for you people to do the problems on the hollow shafts over there uh, on the basis of that particular derivation you can get these problems uh, if you not uh, if you are not able to what we call is uh, solve these type of problems at least you can uh, write down the uh, what we call as the given data and also a uh, little bit calculations will be there you will be knowing only by doing this type of derivation over there so that it will be easy for you people to do the problems on this particular hollow shafts then after last module uh, state assumptions made in Euler's column theory and also Euler's equations of a column uh, are there there are a lot of derivations on this Euler equation based on the fixed ends based on the hinged ends hinged ends over there so go through uh, this Euler's equation and expression for strain energy due to bending and shear 
bending and shear over the year it is also an important question strain energy due to bending and shear and also i will prefer you uh, do the problems on uh, what we call as these columns column problems are much more easier so that you will be easily get 20 marks in this particular module over here so my dear friends this much was the content i hope this uh, particular content is enough to pass uh, the mom subject that is 18 me 32 so go for it all the best for your upcoming exam of the mom thank you for watching this video